DraftKings Casino is bringing you only the best. Classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots, plus exclusive games you won't find anywhere else. I love DraftKings Casino because it's like having Vegas anywhere I go. Download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code CANCELLED. New players get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. That's code CANCELLED, only on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www1800 800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per new customer. Must opt in and make minimum $5 deposit within seven days, 168 hours of registering new account. Max match $100 in casino credits, which require one-time playthrough within seven days, 100 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player offer 2024. Thank you, DraftKings, for sponsoring today's episode of the Cancelled Podcast. Hello and welcome back to the Cancelled Podcast. Hey I'm not kidding. I'm so excited. I'm trying to contain myself. I'm like being a little freak on the inside right now. No, I'm so excited. Like You're- I'm so excited. I'm like shaking. I was like, why can't I breathe? I was like at my house. I was like, is it because of the vape? Like, is it because I'm smoking too much? And I was like, no, I've always vaped and I've always smoked too much. Like, I'm definitely, like, overly excited. I took yeah. a, I'm not kidding. We are, like, the number one person that we talk about all the time. And there's been so much. There's never been so much build up for a guest. I know. Because, like, yeah. Do you know how many people have messaged me being, like, canceled now? We've been hyping you coming on canceled like it's the Super Bowl. Like, I don't even. You are. I mean, if you're if you guys are watching the podcast right now, I had Paige um, go get <laughs> and personally blow up the dream guest balloon. Thank you, Paige. Did that by yourself? With a straw. <laughs> she doesn't get paid Thank enough. you, Paige. Shout out, Paige. Um, and I'm just so happy that you're here. We have Jake Shane, octopus lover, on the podcast. Yeah, today. I'm so excited to be here. And I just, I don't even know where I want to begin. I mean, you guys are like best friends. As yeah, we see each other all the time. So you guys have been going to the, the infamous Aloe <laughs> Gym. For those of you who don't know the Aloe Gym, well, why don't you, why don't you give a... Well, a rundown. he's a little bit more of a regular than I. I just started going recently, but basically it's like, it's actually like a really smart business model because they don't do like a ton of advertising, but it's, they have like the Aloe headquarters. Right. Okay. It's like where they work. Yeah. Well, like the first time I went, I tried to pay because oh. I was like, I don't understand. Like I, they gave me like, it's like you do like a personal training and then you do like this, that, like they give you food and I'm like, okay, so like, where do I check out? Yeah. And they were like, nowhere. And I was like, LA is weird. Like, <laughs> but it's really smart if you think about it, because they don't have to like pay for billboards and stuff. Because yeah. they just like invite people. Everyone wants to post it. Because and it's like Haley Bieber and amazing. goes. Yeah. And like a bunch of, it's. it's yeah, it's re- exciting oh. to go to. That's like the best way to get me to go work out. Right. Because it's I'm like, like who's going to be there? Is Glenn Powell going to be there? Yeah, like, right. The answer's no. You were working but, out with Glenn Powell. I love him. Oh my God. Tell you had the me. viral clip. <laughs> yeah. Of everyone saying, who is he? In yeah, the middle well, shaking. Did you see? <laughs> That dude, I like that's why I think I can't go because I would be just like shaking boots and like, yeah. d- like just sweating and like not fucking cute, like gut out. Like, that's what I like do living. too. And I'm like, I'm just gonna, well, because at first when you go, like, you know, like it's like a, like you, like you don't pay, but you like post and stuff. And like, I was like, okay, well, I'm not gonna like look good. So I'm just gonna like throw it up and hope for the best. Yeah. And people really liked like me like shaking and stuff. And I was like confused. I was like, did no one know like Pilates was difficult? It's so fucking <laughs> like, hard. What? I feel like that's just now coming to like the forefront. Like yeah. Pilates is difficult was like leaked. Like well, sometimes yeah. I get Six embarrassed ago. like posting the clips because I'm like, it looks like I'm doing nothing, but it's so fucking hard. Well, the reason people don't think Pilates is difficult is because it's like a woman centered um, workout. And yeah, so people but don't I love think they like anything like women up. do is difficult. That's so true. You know what I saw yesterday on TikTok? And this is going to make me sound so fucking stupid. But like, I w- my mind was blown by this. All women have always gotten their last names from only men. Yeah, that is what happens. But like. Wait, like in history forever? Like, think about it. Like. Oh, wait, that like makes me sick. Isn't that. Like, <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Kind of like, I just never. Like, yes, duh. But like, every last name ever is just from a man. Like, no, like. Yeah, that's why it's so important to have a son because otherwise that you have no one like to carry on the name. Right. Oh my, yeah, my last name is going to like die with me. My mom didn't change her last name. Really? Yeah. That's, that's yeah. My mom did and kept it forever. They are absolutely not together. Yeah, my mom, my mom was <laughs> like, I'm not changing it. And I was like, okay. Like, like why can't I just well, you can hyphenate it if you want. She didn't even do that. 
That like, game was wild. Like, <laughs> just I, at I all. mean, I guess it was like, yeah. So that, but yeah, I guess every last name comes from a guy that's so weird to think about. You know what I mean? It just kind of pissed me off. And yeah. I, need to, I need to do something about that, but I'm not sure like where well, you my have to keep your last name forever. That's never going away. Do you think so? I just yeah, think yes. it's like, Tana. Imagine it being like Tana Craig. No. I'm into that though. My last name's like someone smashed their face no, on a keyboard. I want to be a Smith for once. It's iconic. Tana Wait, Mojo, like, that's it. Like you also like no one else's name is Tana. Yeah. Like everybody's name is Brooke. Everyone's name is Jake. Also no your fans. initials are TM. Like that's sick. Well, back to Aloe quickly. Have you guys joined the Illuminati or what? Yeah, we have. Yeah. Like we I have. just, I can't go first uh-huh. of all. So it's, I guess I'm a little pissed. You can go. Of course you can go. I don't know if I like, do I pay? Like, I don't think Aloe wants like Tana Mojo there. Like I just no, feel like. That's, they're like way, ch- well, they're like, everyone was like, they're like strict and stuff. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't. I didn't know. I think they would have been really strict with me, but I went with Tate for the first time. Well, so they you. were like really nice. Like, and then it was like, and then I just became friends with everyone. And then it was like, good I, to go. I, so I got a plus one my way to the top. Yeah. That's, well, that's, that's what, what I, I did. I got invited from, from an event. Okay. okay. And I ran into, honestly, it just was like a perfect array of events. Cause like him and Tate were there and they're like, Brooke, like I, I was like, like yes. trying to make it look like I was like in with the people. But I had an embarrassing moment this morning because I realized I made a TikTok about Tate yesterday, like raving about how I'm like, I would die to be her. And then she's there this morning. And I'm like, um, wait, she loves you guys. She, yeah, love she her. says she's that, but best. I don't believe it. No, <laughs> she, she's like the nicest ever. She's so, so normal. Cute, so nice. I like, incredible. I like separate her. Like I see her at Aloe and it's like, oh, there's Tate. But then I see her at the Super Bowl and I'm like, or not the uh, Super Bowl. The yeah. The, and, uh, NHL, the NHL All Star. She's Did also her. Her. Well, I don't. I don't want to drag you into what I'm about to say, but I think she's on the horizon of a new relationship. God, I. You know, I don't really talk about that stuff with her because I always get like <laughs> anxious asking her stuff that like yeah. I feel like you know because like I don't know what it's like to be on that like level of spotlight. So I try never to. I feel like I find out with like the rest of everybody else. Good for you. I'm such a nosy ass yeah. bitch. I, I like can't doing help those myself. things. Sometimes I don't ask my friends so that I can be a fan and like start speculating online. She yeah. knows that. I'll comment on videos like, oh my God, is this true? <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking about this downstairs, but I think your like career, I don't want to go too interviewee and like sound That's like fine. I'm fucking you can go jo- interviewee. I don't mind. You know, like Joan Rivers over here. Is that what she does? That's no, my, Joan Rivers is my idol. She people's outfits and I'm pretty sure she died. She did die. Rip. Rip Joan. Joan. She is my idol. I've been having this new like thing where I think people are just alive and they're not like Stephen Hawking. It was news to me. Wait, what? I thought he was like rolling around still. He's dead. 2018, he passed. What? Yeah. He did. No, he was alive this year. I swear to God. Okay, is this a where, Mandela effect? Where did I see him this year <laughs> doing something? Oh, oh. Yes. we both have? Wait, I could have sworn everyone was like, oh, that Stephen Hawking's there. Dude, I swear. Like, you know what I mean? I thought he was at the Met Gala. Or was it that he was on Epstein's list? He was. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah he, he was definitely list. there. That's what I'm I mean, thinking about. That's a way to live forever. Yeah, for that's sure. why I'm like, why was he, why, where have I heard of him? Like, I could have sworn I saw but him. I just swore. Kind of convenient was... that he kicked it right before the list came out. I, well, I found out, Ashley was telling me the other day that we were like all in New York at the club and Stephen Hawking died and everyone at the club was like, oh shit. But like, I don't remember that. So. Oh, that, this was 2018. I guess so. Damn. She remembers where she was when Stephen Hawking died. <laughs> 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 I remember where I was when. Michael Jackson died. So I do, do too. I. I do too. So do I. I was like nine and I had like, did we, you guys have like, we had to be older than nine. I think we were I, like no, 13. I was young. I had such a poor television. I remember oh, yeah, it was like this big younger. and it was like way too high up and I was like hungry and no one was feeding me. And I was like, damn, Michael Jackson's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're doing the thing. Yeah. Oh my God. Dude. Oh, Michael. I would have loved him. He would have liked vapes. He would have loved vapes. I can't stop saying that so? lately. Like Amy Winehouse would have loved vapes. Words out of my mouth. Amy yep. Winehouse would have died for vapes. You know what? I mean? Yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love Amy Winehouse more than anything in the world. I'm so sorry. So everyone. <laughs> much. I woke up today singing "Back to Black." I don't know why. It's, but. Did you guys see that Amy Winehouse and Taylor Swift were nominated for um, yeah, Best New Artist in the same year? Like that's how recently. Like, have you seen her documentary? Yeah. Oh my god. Amy or Taylor? Amy. Amy. Wait, you were just at the Grammys. I know. Hello. Can you Good tell us segue, about it? Good segue, Get it out of him. <laughs> it was crazy. What it was the like, fuck? it was like, well, at first I was like, 
is this real? Like what, what's hot? Like, I don't understand. Like, so who invited you? Like, how do you get, Im- how do you get invited to the Grammys? Like some brands like will invite like influencers and stuff. So like Meta invited like me and like Alex and like Chris Olsen and like, okay. yeah, that's like a certain tier of influencer like, that I don't think we're ever Meta's not in my Meta's sending me a cease and desist actually right now. It's so funny. You guys say that. Cause I see you guys as like here. <laughs> yeah. You're Delulu, honey. And you're I, confi- like, here, you're I really do. I don't, I don't know why you guys don't see yourself. Like, <laughs> I don't I understand. Like that for sure. like, <laughs> I'm fine with where we're at though, dude. I swear to God. I just got like a dry shampoo sponsorship the other day and I was like, I made it. I'm Celine Dion. Bitch. Yeah. Like it's the little things for me. I'm not kidding. It is the fucking little so, things. Meta. Yes. Invite. Speaking of the little things, yeah. Meta invites you to the Grammys. And so obviously you go, you get there. What's it like? Like, just walk me through. I called Alex and I was like, do you want to go together? Cause like, I'm feeling awkward. And she was yeah. like, yes, I'd let's, be terrified. Like, let's, let's go meet me at my hotel. I'm like, okay. So I get to her hotel. Like I have no makeup on or anything. She has like a whole team and everything. I'm like, oh, mm-hmm. sh- fuck me. Like, <laughs> here we go. Like I'm going to look so bad. And then uh, we got there. It was pouring rain. We ran inside and there was like a whole line of like press outlets. I've never been to a carpet like that before. I've never seen that before. Yeah. So like press and then a photo wall. And then the glam bot. Okay. So you do the press first and it's like really scary because they can just like ask you anything. Yeah. And it's all live basically. Yeah. It's like you finish, you put the mic down and it's on TikTok. Yeah. I mean, not that anyone's looking for me, but like it was still oh, kind of relax. scary. I'm looking for I you. was, I yeah. was cracking up at your era's answer. They're like, what era do you think you're oh, in? Oh, and I'm like, oh, 1989. And I was like, oh, you didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> not talking about Taylor Swift and at then all. There was one guy, there was one guy, Davis, that asked me, he was like, so who would you thank if you won a Grammy? And I'm like, oh my God. I would thank my manager and my best friend, Zach. I would thank da, da, da. And they all started laughing at me. And I was like, I don't, what's so funny? <laughs> they were like, well, you're the first person to take this answer seriously. And I was like, got it, cool. <laughs> and then I watched the video back and everyone's like, I thank Taylor Swift. And I'm, and then I'm like, I would thank my manager and my friends and my mom. And she's like, oh God. But it was really fun. You were there. I, you know, people think I was there, but I wasn't there. Ride that home. We need that. Were you not Brooke there? Was there? So people, th- yeah, I was there. I got her ready and I, I was actually okay, there. You were there. Yeah. But the best part of the night was um, when Tracy Chapman and Luke Combs sang Fast Car. So uh, I was sobbing at home. I was like, I never cry. And I was like really tearing up. And I was like, damn, like why? Because it was one of those moments. It's why I love live music where you felt the energy in the room just like completely yeah. shift. Like no one knew it was coming. And it was like. Tracy like came up and it was like such oh my god and it was like I didn't know at the time that she hadn't performed in so long but by the energy I could tell that she hadn't yeah and it was just like oh it was just like oh my god like I love live music for that reason I thought Ray Chapman was a guy until this moment are you kidding me (laughs) I'm like I loved him singing fast car no the disrespect no Luke Combs covered fast car no I know that I know I'm well aware of who Tracy Tracy Chapman Chapman is is I've just been misgendering Oh my wild, god, the wildly um, actively misgendering. Forget everything we said. Um, <laughs> I'm crying. Yeah, <laughs> that is never inviting you to the Grammys. They they never were. No, <laughs> it was so me. I've watched it back a hundred times just to see how he looks like to the side, like, like how he feels probably the smile, sitting next to I her. Know. Ugh, amazing. But people thought I was there. Um, for sure thought I was there. I was at a viewing party. So Got I was it. like at like a second tier Grammys. It was an amazing yeah. party. It was Steven Tyler's party. But oh my yeah. god. It yeah. Was Megan Fox directly next to me. And I was wearing um, like a completely sheer like naked dress. Mm -hmm. And I was like all nervous saying like, I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I should wear this. And I was like, you're fine. Megan's naked too. I go, why the fuck would I want to be naked next Next to to Megan? (laughs) (laughs) Like at all. Oh, it was horrible. How was your night? It was so amazing. I found so many boyfriends. You did? Did you go out after? I didn't go out after because it was a blizzard. Yeah, I was like, I got to go home. I'm not kidding. I walked outside. It got thrown down the street by a gust of wind. That's That's so That's so so skinny. So skinny. So not kidding. Yeah. Yeah. No after parties for me. Did you? No, it was rainy. I went to Mr. Chow. Uh, So real. The chicken satay. It's everything. It's my, I've had it. I've had it like a lot recently. Like to the point where it's like, I'm like, I'm spending too much money on this fucking Chinese place. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's like fucking like $70 for like a chicken chicken. And I'm like, what is happening here? I'm obsessed with it. Worth I found it. out you, you had made it. Yeah. I don't think yes, you should be able to post That's my, no, that's my fatal flaw because I'm like, I really, really, really want Chinese food. And it's like one of my only good options in LA. Mm. And Chinese food's like my favorite food. Mm. And like, I'm like, fuck, like, what am I? And then I like click the order and it's like $300. And I'm like, I don't think you should be able to postmate nice restaurants. I think that you should earn the like good food by getting up and getting dressed and getting there. Right. And it's like, 
I like I've been ordering catch steak to my bed and it's like I shouldn't be How eating a filet mignon with my hands. How is that though? And like it's oh my god, it's it's ethereal. I it's, love catch steak. It's so and like there's just something about like yeah. eating it in your pajamas, but it's like you shouldn't be able to. Right. Like, you should be able to earn it. I have no doubt that you would show up to catch steak in your pajamas. I have. They turned me away. No. Tana, Tana and I get in fights <laughs> about this literally at least once a month because we'll be going to a nice restaurant and she'll go, I'm wearing this. I'm like, we're still at home right now. <laughs> you can change into anything that you want. <laughs> but my thing is, isn't a nice restaurant about comfort? Like I always go to Talk nice restaurants. I Talk always go to nice restaurants and sweats and stuff and so do all my friends because we when we grew up like when I grew up in New York I was like okay the, the fancy restaurants they're not going to card you because they're it's about comfort they just want you to be comfortable so that's why I thought like you can show up in whatever you want oh, and it's just like if me. I put on that corset and I eat how I want to eat I'm busting out of it right like, you know and it's like I just I want my eating pants on me too I want my eating pants on I don't want skinny jeans on Brooke yeah. hates that I'm well it's because I worked in a restaurant me. and we used to like it was always like I had to seat people based on how like well they presented themselves which really? is actually horrible that's an LA where only did you work catch <gasps> It was crazy. It really was. But it was like just so era. that it looked like everyone was like out and looking nice. And I get what you're very much a rule follower. And if you know the rule of somewhere and I'm like avidly trying to break a rule that I know, like I understand. Well, it'll be like a, a six star restaurant. <laughs> She'll be like, I don't think there is a dress code. I go, I, I know that there is a dress code. Absolutely. You know Absolutely. where they take dress codes really fucking seriously is London. Really? I've never seen anything like that in my life. DraftKings Casino is bringing you only the best. Classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots, plus exclusive games you won't find anywhere else. I love DraftKings Casino because it's like having Vegas anywhere I go. Download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code CANCELLED. New players get an instant deposit match up to $100 in casino credits when you deposit $5 or more. That's code CANCELLED, only on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLE or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available for problem gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly. 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. Eligibility and other restrictions apply. One per new customer. Must opt in and make minimum $5 deposit within seven days, 168 hours of registering new account. Max match $100 in casino credits, which require one one-time playthrough within seven days, 168 hours. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash new player offer 2024. Thank you, DraftKings, for sponsoring today's episode of the Cancelled Podcast. When you go to London, do you feel like everyone there just hates you so much? Well, I go with my best friend who is British. Oh, my So God. I, um, I just, like, hide behind her, and I, like, stick with her, and I just let her, like, guide the way. Last time we were in London, people, like— Paige and I were walking down the street and like little kids were like pointing at us and like whispering to their parents, like, look, Americans like they like it was like bad. It was really bad. But all my British friends are also crackheads. So it's yeah, kind of like do I don't a lot really of drugs get over How there. can they tell they you're American? Do. They do. I mean, just the way you dress and like hmm. even just like like my blonde and like it, it's not. Like I thought it's that not. was like the whole thing. What do they call them? Chavs? I don't think that's an American. That's um no, a British person. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so isn't that, wait, London, England, mm, right. I don't understand anything that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> no, me mean? neither. Where, <laughs> is that not in, okay, you know what? Don't ask me any questions. I just got my first passport, not kidding. Really? Yeah. How is? Well, you know, we were just about to go. I'm so upset. I'm actually heartbroken. Why? I, I told you about this. We were going, we got invited. Can we say that? Yeah, we can say it. Tana and I got invited to Tart Island. Tripping with Tart. I've been Tripping campaigning. with yeah. Tart, bitch. <laughs> I've been campaigning for this invite for years. Okay, uh -huh. I've come on every podcast to say how badly I want to be invited. And we finally did. We got invited a couple weeks ago. We started packing our things. We were leaving I tomorrow morning. I saw your morning. with Tart stuff downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> well, they moved it. Tart is tripping. When is it? Got rained out and it's when we're on tour. Oh. So we're about to be in like Milwaukee, livid, while all these fucking makeup bitches are in... They're never going to nice girls. Girl. Probably nice girls. No, they're such nice girls. I'm just bitter and I'm livid. Like it got moved. I made my boyfriend fly here to go to go with us. He gets here. It's like if I knew that there would be a storm, I would be on that plane. One hundred percent. Because that would be the funniest 
shit. Like of fire my festival. Life. Yes. One hundred percent. I like I would be down no matter what. Bora Bora is my dream destination. I've never been. I've wanted to go ever since the Kardashians went. Do you guys remember I when they went? I know. I wanted to remake the video. Yeah. When they did ET. Didn't they do ET there? Like ET, like phone home? No, they did the Kate they made a music video to ET by Katy Perry and Bora Bora. <laughs> oh, yes. literally so yeah. Didn't they do that? Yeah. Oh, like they got the damn alien. <laughs> like, <fuck. laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I'm so sad. I'm really like we're not tripping with Tart and well, we're never we gonna be. Are eventually tripping with Tart and <laughs> next time you're coming I, well because yes. they asked us who we wanted to come and you're the only person we said I almost did I was just I was busy and I was like I who's can't. what's what's what do you mean busy it's it's I'm going to my Bora. first fashion show oh, okay. and I was wait, like, are you gonna be in New York yeah I'm going now wait really yes! oh my god I'm really excited but I'm really nervous because I'm like I feel so out of place everywhere but like I'm, you should I'm not pumped. feel out of place you're gonna you're be so funny like front row like I need you to like I want a PR stunt from you I really oh do. I'm oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try something like I don't know what I'm gonna do but I'm like like, I want to see you eating octopus front row. Oh, that's like, smart. Take it home. You're so Call smart. me a girl Pull boss. One yeah, like so calamari out of your bag. Girl boss town. <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, I was. I'm. I'm nervous for that. But what's the show? Can you say? Yeah, it's Tommy Hilfiger. <gasps> oh my that's god, so fun! I'm really excited. You're gonna have fashion week is unlike anything in the world. It reminds me of almost like frat energy, like the yeah. way people party and like go out after is like absolutely insane all bets are off people are just cussing people out it's like it's ridiculous and it's so oh, fun i'm excited damn well, yeah i keep like bailing on shit as of late like not bailing but as like, of late was crazy yeah hold on let me <laughs> let me redo that sentence like just not going like even just like grammy's weekend like i could have done so much and i've just been so like inside like grandma mode i don't know what it is i usually never like to leave my house the only reason i was like really leaving my house for grammy's week is just because like i music is so important to me. So I was like, if I have the opportunity to like go to these type of things, like I'm going to take it this week. Like I'm going to do it. If any week I'm going to do it, it's going to be this so week. So real. You were yeah. in the same room as Taylor Swift. Yeah, that was crazy. So how was that? Did you see her? Like, so I kept looking for her. I was like, I, and then like, I was like, I wonder if she's here. I'm so confused. Because I knew I saw a TikTok that she was sitting right by um, Zach Ryan and Brianna. And crazy. can you believe? I, and I was like, and I was like looking, I was like looking for Brianna and I was looking for Zach. And then I was like, I can't see her. And then she made her grand entrance in and like, they like, walled. have you met her yet? Not yet. I, I know you're it's going coming to this year. And it's going to be so fucking iconic. Do you know what you're going to say to her? I'm probably going to pass out. You're definitely going to pass out. Um, what, my favorite thing about your Instagram is just like the way that you are so shamelessly like constantly like fan account posting like Taylor, like for Taylor and stuff. Because and I, like, I'm not going to lie. Because when I, when I started my whole TikTok stuff, um, everyone was like, you should post more on Instagram, post more on Instagram, post more on Instagram. And I was like, I have spent 10 years of my life trying to be like so perfect on Instagram. Like I'm not doing that anymore. Like I'm just sending it. But it's so good. It like it, I don't know. It inspires me to be less like that. Maybe I'll take up a no face tune era and just I, really show the people what I'm working with. I almost face tuned all my Grammys picks and I was like, I'm just not going to do it. I get scared with like that kind of thing because people could just go to Getty.com. Dude, I was for a year of my life. I was post screenshotting Gettys and just doing actual like facial reconstructive remember, surgery and then posting. I, I remember the red dress. Someone like a fan had edited a photo of her like with her formula and then she took that photo and edited it herself. And, and I made became, myself, dude, I would like just do, I like, I delete my chin. Like you need a chin. I like everyone knows one, you have a chin. But I do it to people. Like when I see a beautiful photo <laughs> on a carpet, I'm like, hmm, that can't be real. And I, I go and I compare that too. them. I, my kryptonite was my nose. I would like, or I would also pinch my face. Like I would like make my face smaller because I would think my face was too big. So I would like. What was the oh, tool shit. that I would use? It was like um, definitely resize. 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 <laughs> I, I do resize on my butt cheeks sometimes, and I just go. Mm. I would resize, Absolutely. and I would resize my waist. I would resize, and then I would detail my abs. Absolutely, I, I still. Um, yeah, I oh, can't well, even. if I'm posting a shirtless photo, like guaranteed it's face tuned. Yeah, I haven't yeah, posted a shirtless photo in like five years, and if I do, it is fucking. I'll like wear a patterned shirt and then try to resize. Like, let's say I had a checkered <laughs> shirt, and it's like the checkers are super small, and then on the boobs they're like giant. Yeah, and it's like okay, everyone knows you've got to chill. So I'm, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not trying. quite out of Facetune yet. I did phase out of FaceApp. You phase no I'm, more FaceApp. I heard FaceApp's like the real one. That, yeah, because that can turn you like I, that could turn me into Megan Fox in like only like two buttons. And that's it's it's just so dangerous. My thing is, I used to do it high, mm -hmm. and I had to stop. I'd be face apping <laughs> high, and I'd be like, I look gorgeous. And then the <laughs> next day, I'm like, I look like a fucking sim. Like it's, I'm I'm really I'm trying to dial it back. Looking at old Facetune photos is like the funniest thing. 
I used to whiten my teeth to the point of like <laughs> no return. To the gods. Absolutely. Like to the gods. Same. And people would be like, Jake, like your teeth are small and like kind of yellow. Like we know that this isn't real. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I think we want to do that as a segment on tour. Like I want to bring up all my old like Facetune serious fails. Those are the, the it's the best. Wait, I saw you guys are going to Fayetteville. And let me just say that Arkansas is one of my favorite places in the entire That's world. That's actually where really? we're going to be when everyone's in Bora Bora. Wait, can I come to Fayetteville? <laughs> yes, yes, you I'm can. Like, oh my gosh, special- everyone, because I did my first live show ever in Fayetteville. And I was like, this has the most special place in my heart ever. And then everyone was like, Tana and Brooke are going to Fayetteville. And I was like, no, I must come. Oh I would absolutely love to have you. Like, wait, so you did live shows? I've done two. Okay. I've done two college shows. I was so scared. I did the first one in Arkansas. And I was like, God, like, who the fuck is going to show up to this? And they really showed up and they were so nice. And it was. What did you talk about on stage? I want to know everything. Yeah, honestly, give us your format. It was like a and a Like, it wasn't like a real live show yet. It was like this uh, moderator was like asking me questions. And she was the Ooh. best and so lovely. But like, it was like asking me questions about Taylor Swift and then like asking me questions from the audience and um, some girl in the audience birthday. So I gave her like, what was I wearing? I think I was wearing like a Puss University thing. And then I did one at Syracuse and then I made like custom Syracuse color Puss Universities. Oh my God. And, uh, you, I would love to do it's like actually a college the only tour. university I'm ever going to attend is Puss <laughs> University. Not kidding. Um, we should maybe do a little Q and A. We have this whole fucking bit, right? I just want to talk because I'm livid. Like, I'm can we so... say what it is now? Because yes. I think it's funny. What happened? Well, well we we <laughs> we're liars. Let's this start is, there. Okay, so <laughs> they're never going to invite us again if we say this. But no, they will. They will. I had the idea to. They will was bold. They start won't. a horrible rumor on the tart trip. Okay, so we were gonna like go in and record <laughs> ourselves telling all the makeup girls like a crazy rumor. We didn't. But get, we weren't gonna like record. Or, like we were gonna make it like a whole like right. scheme right. and see if we could get this rumor to social media. See if we spread Wait, this rumor. Amazing. Because it's a bunch trip. of influencers, yeah. a bunch of girls. We were like, how quickly can we get this on Daily Wait, Mail? I love this. And we, yeah. well, us too. <laughs> yeah. And we were going to do that and document the whole process. And that was going to be one of our like bits at the live show, like on stage, showing the clips of us like seating in the rumor and like sit the TikToks on stage, whatever. And then they move the fucking trip. And now we have no show. So um, uh, no show I'm is kidding. pushing it. Um, we have a show, but it's just uh, that was a it was a big component. So. Who came up with that? That's really smart. She was like, let's spread a rumor. And but then, then we, we were she was like um, smoking at the time. So we just kept getting like more and more creative. And it got to like Austin McBroom is pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> And it was so we were getting a um, couple's massage in my living room. Uh-huh. And I swear to God, the masseuses had to be like, what the fuck is wrong with these bitches? Masseuses is funny. Listen to what happened to us. We ordered. Oh have God. you used the Soothe app before? No, what's that? It's like an app where you can literally like right now we could get a massage right here. What is this called? It's like Soothe. Uber Eats for masseuses. Soothe that? Soothe. Soothe that. Soothe. No. Soothe app. Soothe app. Got yes. It. So we had ordered this couple's massage and I I was sitting like this counting the seconds, okay? Because it was like <laughs> it's it's our new obsession. Minor inconvenience, I'm getting a 90 minute deep tissue. And is it Don't nice? Don't talk to me. Oh my god, it's insane. You're naked in your living room. Oh my god. I had this guy the other day who was on all fours on the table like fucking <laughs> throwing me in the air. I damn near came. It was everything. Um, sorry. Uh, Speaking of coming, did anyone see Drake this morning? Oh my <laughs> wait, God. Wait, I keep hearing about it. Or it was Drake has a third fucking wait, leg. Wait, where is it? Drake I, has a, you want to Drake's say, a tripod? I've always Drake's known I've loved Drake. Like I saw that and I was like, oh wow. I just Wait, do. I need to wow. see it. Is it in the group I was like, chat? he should feel really and good I, about himself. I have a lot of friends who have had sex with him. And it's like, like do you? A decent amount. I'm like, do and, we? And is he good in bed? No one's ever told me like ha- that he's I've working heard, I've with heard an, an extremity. I'm not going to say that about, I'm not going to have beef with Drake, honestly. I know what you were going to say and I don't think you should say it. <laughs> Can you tell me after? Yes. He Perfect. posted an Instagram story. He said, and for those asking, oh, that's no, a No, he said, um, I wasn't hiding the meat from my world, from the world. I was hiding the world from my meat. <laughs> Real. Yeah. Real. Real as fuck. Have you seen it? That is hilarious. Would you like no, to I, see I would it? love to see it. Everyone was Live like, there reaction. was a part two. And so I was on Twitter for like an hour, like looking for the part two. And everyone was like, you guys are liars. Part two is crazy. Like <laughs> it's a fucking Netflix murder doc. It's a man's penis. Hold on. <laughs> it is the craziest thing I've ever seen. God, but how have we not heard it's about this by now? Flopping. It's not even fully erect. Might I add? Look at it. Flip, ah! flippity flopping. Oh, when it has like a little weight to it and it's like a, a big Stop. sack of sand. I'm shaking. Dude, that shit could knock you out. Wow. And it honestly, I, I hope Drake. it what does. I say? Yeah, that, same. Dude, I just, I could see you fucking Drake. You should get to work on that. <gasps> mm-hmm. I'll try. 
<laughs> Your manager's over here right now, like clenching. <laughs> like, Sorry. Hi, After a long day, I like to chill and relax, enjoying one of Mood's pre rolls. Now they're adding their most potent product yet to the lineup. Introducing hemp based THCA flower, the future of legal THC. Try it along with all of Mood's other amazing offerings like flower, gummies, vapes, and more. And for a limited time, Mood is giving our listeners a free THCA pre roll and 20% off your first order. Just visit hellomood.com and use our code CAN. Canceled. I love the variety of products Mood offers. My favorite so far is the cereal milk pre-roll. It's perfect for when you just want to lay in bed and watch movies all night. Besides the pre-rolls, I love the different variations of flour that Mood offers and how quick and discreetly it came in the mail. Introducing THCA Flower, Mood's latest, most potent breakthrough in the world of legal cannabis. Since THCA converts to THC when you heat it, you get access to the classic marijuana high. And Mood has 10 high-inducing strains, the most potent they've ever offered. Mood puts an end to guessing games with federally legal forms of THC extracted from hemp plants. All of their products are regularly tested in third-party labs, sourced from small family farms and pesticide-free. Something for every mood, tested and tailored by in-house experts. Different strains for specific moods, from euphoric to energized, creative to chill. And plenty of versatile products that go with whatever mood you're going for. Different ways to enjoy. However you like to take THC, Mood has you covered. Great for both beginner and veteran users. Great tasting gummies, classic flour, convenient pre-rolls, and so much more. Try Mood's new THCA flour today. For a limited time only, get 20% off your first order and a free THCA pre-roll. Just go to hellomood.com and use promo code CANCELLED. That's hellomood.com, code CANCELLED for 20% off your order and a free THCA pre-roll. Thank you, Mood, for sponsoring today's episode of the Cancelled Podcast. Where were we? Sorry. Sorry. Massage. Sorry. Oh, Sue so, that. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry. We're so excited. This lady calls and she goes, there's no parking. First of all, there's a street full of parking. I know because <laughs> I just might as well be the here. crypto arena when it comes to parking. That right. is one thing we have. We don't have like, you know, central AC some of the time, but we have <laughs> parking. Yeah. And we I have, have parking. I have two cars at the moment. One of them has been parked down there for f- four months or uh-huh. however long I've had the new one. And it d- has never gotten a ticket. And she's like, I'm not parking here. I'm going to get a ticket. We go, no, you're fucking not. She leaves. <gasps> she never comes back so there's she only one masseuse. She assaulted us on the phone. And you, it was yeah, a whole thing. And did you just sit there like watching each other get massaged? No, I never had a refund by the way, Sooth. I paid $200 for a lady to verbally assault me in the <laughs> Like, she I was just so want to say rude that. about it too. I was literally like, I don't, almost don't even want her to come in now because yeah. she's just angry but maybe it will make her better but we had to switch. We had to like literally rotate. <laughs> so Brooke and I were laying there like little like naked sausages while the masseuse was like switching back and forth, and we're planning this tart rumor about Austin McBroom. Is and it was just, like, what the fuck is happening? Yeah, it was. It was. There was a lot going on. I don't know. What's up with Austin McBroom? I don't really know the whole I lore have, behind that. I have lore. Okay, I, have tea. I don't Give know. Us. So he was part of the Ace Family. Oh, okay. he was. You want a quick run? Okay, so he was the Ace Family. It was Austin, Catherine, and. Ed Sheeran. I don't know what the E was for. Um, <laughs> L. Okay. L. And um, they were a family channel. Right. They blew up. The yes. numbers were just absolutely insane. And the money was absolutely insane. And I think that with the, certain people are cut out for the family channel lore. The family channel, you know, right. they, they keep the money and they they slay it and they, you know, whatever. But I think he was like, okay, we need supercars. I mean, the best way to say it is it kind of got to their heads and then everyone right. was kind of like, this is weird. And then that, I think they also were the beginning of sparking the whole conversation of like, are you exploiting your kids? kids right. You know, were they silent? very much like, can you please start crying for this thumbnail? Wait, like, have you yeah. seen, oh, have you seen that one where she's like, start crying, baby? Yes. Or when, <laughs> when, she's, when, when she's talking about the actual dog dying. Yeah. She just told the kid the dog died and she's like, cry a little harder. Please. No, she goes, and, she goes, and now face no. the camera. You've never seen that? She goes, she goes, lay your head here, baby. Wait, look at the camera. Cry a little, baby. It was the craziest thing I've ever and seen. And she actually life. accidentally left it in like that girl who beat up her dog. Oh my, I'll never Did forget that. Not, why am I this dog? girl, Brooke Houts. Um, <laughs> and people thought it was me. <laughs> she was, she accidentally like uploaded an unedited version of her video. And in the video, she was like hitting her dog. To like do stuff? Yeah, like trying to like, it was like, dude. I don't know what was That's, happening. I've never seen that. I can't watch the video because I don't want to see anyone hit a dog. But. Yeah, she's absolutely horrible. It obviously, that's horrible. That's my worst nightmare, though, raw footage. But you would just see me picking like a veggie. I was going to say you vagina wedgie, like, but the manager is like in my prime time. What? I would just start over yeah, a sentence that's, that's a million me. times. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't. That's why I can't have yeah. an editor because I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed As to fuck. send somebody that. Yeah. I get so embarrassed. J Rod, my editor, has seen it all. Actually, not even kidding. 
J Rod. Where, where were we? He's my editor. Isn't he like the editor of he like? He's kind yeah. of the editor. He's yeah. that motherfucker. I feel like I've heard that name a bunch of times. Yeah, he's so talented. He's, yeah, he's everything and more. I kind of was against editors until I met him. And yeah. I love him. He is. He's real. We were going somewhere. I don't know. Where I kind of like going. that we've been all over the place. I know, but we, no, I'm I, I'm edging now. <laughs> Ace family, I'm edging Ace, for the Ace, Ace family. Ace, oh, Ace. Um, we have, <laughs> and so whatever. I mean, it just and then shit just started hitting the fan. He started cheating on Catherine a bunch. Right. It was coming to the forefront. I had like I've always hated him, and mm-hmm. I had known him, and I was just very avid about that at the time whatever shit started coming to the forefront they finally got a divorce now and everyone's kind of like Catherine's free it's yes like, i saw that he's going insane is he doing something on snapchat i mm. think it's deliberate i think he's like i mean you know how much money people are making on snapchat right now i feel like i he's think he's got to be yeah, making, i've never seen anything like that much i don't ever. use snapchat really you but need like, to be doing it immediately mm. yeah, but there's i feel like i'd be so bad like i don't know i like using my instagram story i would watch every single one really i feel I would, the same way but imagine if your times. instagram story was making you like 20k Damn, I'm not kidding. These people are making such what? stupid money. Stupid. I know. I know people like I like make a make a shit ton. And I'm yes, like, so. OK, but like but like I've seen some of the people that do it. And like Snapchat for them is life. Like they are like taking photos of everything. Yeah. And like I'm just not like I'm good at like my Insta stories because it's like my face and mm-hmm. stuff. But I don't know. No, I want to see your face. I'm not good at taking snap. pictures of okay, everything. I'm going to try. But- I'm going to try snap just for you guys. So if you guys want to know what I ate for breakfast this morning, you know where to find it. Yeah. Um, but. I mean, yeah. So Austin McBroom, he's he's always been money oriented. I definitely right. think it's like a PR stunt. It's smart. It's whatever. Anyways, the other day I get a call. I, oh, no. well, I wake up to like six missed calls from Harry Jowsey. And that's like always scary territory because I'm like, what did I do? What's <laughs> going on? What just it's never like, hey, want to get breakfast? Right. It's like something, you know, and I call him back and he's like, Tana. We've that was got, a great impression. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, we, we've got, we've got some, you know, I don't even know what he was fucking saying. British. And Australian yeah, I made anything. him British. I don't know. Um, Austin McBroom calls Harry Jowsey mm-hmm. and he's like, I want to make amends with people that I've had beef with and people that hate me. And Is he in like beef 12 step? I, yeah, I think he's <laughs> in beef 12. Stuff. Like, and he was like, I just, I know Tana hates me and I really want to make amends with her and I want to Snapchat it. And I'm like, okay. Oh my God. And what? he wants to Snapchat yeah. it. That's immediate. You don't want to make amends with me and I'm not going to the RV. And I really thought about this. Well, me, imagine RV. he brings the RV to you. What? He's, he lives in an RV? Yeah. Oh, that's an important detail of the story. <laughs> <laughs> he, has, he has an RV parked outside of her house and then he put out a song that says, I miss you. We don't talk anymore. I'm watching you through the trees. Wait, and he had legal? DDG the rapper so. be the vocals on the song. The song's kind of a banger. If someone made it about me, I'd fold. I'd be back with them. Banger I'm not gonna lie. is so scary. It is the worst song I've ever heard. Yeah, I yeah, I don't. I'm deaf, but um, <laughs> <laughs> he also was like playing the song for his kids in the car, and it was like they were at gunpoint. Like I felt so bad. It was God. kind of free. Yeah. I mean, yeah, fuck. But me a year ago would have done it. I would have uh-huh. been in the RV. <laughs> And, and I'm just not even going to lie, you know? And it's like, I can't, I'm still like, should I do it? Should I make content with Austin McBroom? Jeff was telling me like, absolutely not. Cause it's like, you hate him and it's going to look like this like collab. And it's like, you know what I mean? I feel like if you did it, you would just have to be like real about it and be like, I hate you. And you right? have to accept that Meta will never invite you to the Grammys. Well, I just don't know if that's a deciding factor, but um, <laughs> it, that's really important. I don't know. I kind of want to do it. Like there's a part of me that wants to do it and make fun of him, but I'm scared that like I'm going to go do it with him and then he's going to edit it and like chop it up and like whatever. And then it's like, I look like I like him and I just don't. Right. Do you guys have like personal beef? No, I just, I never know. Like, you know what I mean? Like I've had beef with people where it gets taken to the internet and then like, it's really real to them and they really hate me. And other people where they're like, it's just for the internet. Like it's whatever. Right. I don't know where we stand. I right. don't really like or respect him. I do think yeah. he's kind of a nutcase. Yeah. You know, but it's, I know he's like, what is he making these Snapchats? Like going to church or something? Like what's going, is there like, like I'm working on church, my fitness. RV. I'm finding yeah. God. I think he needs to go to jail. Yeah. <laughs> I just honestly, after everything he put her through the public embarrassment now, it's like, can I just get a break? Wait, he put, there was a lot of public embarrassment. Why like, did I know well, she was He was cheating on her so bad that everybody like from the outside was like, Catherine. Right. Get out of there. Oh, okay. And then she finally But she was him. staying for the kids. She's a good mother. Mom. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I feel like, well, before him, you know, she was dating like Michael B. Jordan, right? <gasps> what? She went from Michael B. Jordan to Austin McBroom. Damn. Which is, I get how that could happen. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't. That is unfortunate. I definitely like... 
I get it. I've made some, not maybe not to that extent, but I've made some dating mistakes where I could have gone down one path and I went down very different ones. You know, I've you never know? had never, a boyfriend. Really? Honestly, boyfriend? I've only had like one. I've never had a boyfriend. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? I feel like you're going to pop out though. And yeah, crazy it's going to be like Michael relate. B. Jordan. It's going to be want, someone amazing. I want a boyfriend so badly. I don't know what it is. I just like, Dates give me so much anxiety and then I'm just like with my friends and then I'm in my room and then I'm smoking. I literally wish I was a gay man. I would date you tomorrow. Thank you. I'm not even literally kidding. What's your type? A person who dates you so lucky. Like, that was so nice. I'm serious. Oh, that was so nice. I would do anything. What Um, is your type? My type is, I love a brunette. I love. (laughs) The bar is in hell. I love a brunette. (laughs) Um, No, the bar is in hell on fire. Yeah. (laughs) Like, on fire. Um. Yeah, a brunette would suffice. Bed frame. That's, yeah. That's what, like, what about quality? Do they have like any qualities? They're, um, they're funny. <laughs> okay. Um, a funny brunette is like, like we're saying the bars in hell. No, that's funny everything. brunette is my type. Yeah, that's all you really need for sure. I like that's a what? I like a guy that's, um, you know, treats me like a princess. I that's, understand. That's exactly what I would right. want. I did prepare one topic for my dream Let's guest. Let's do it. Well, it's not a topic. It's like a thing. But you can also just fucking tell me no. Because now that I'm thinking about it and I'm here, it doesn't feel right. Well, tell me. Okay. Well, I created a list. She, she's going to put you on the spot. Okay. Okay. The, obviously, you are very famous on TikTok. Okay. For many things. Many right. a thing. One of them being recreating scenarios. Yes. That, which I just want you to know how much I love. Thank you. I watch it for hours and hours and hours. I created a wild list of okay. scenarios you have yet to create. Okay. And I wanted to maybe try to do some. With okay, you. let's do it. And I feel like this might be also. You guys be- made it sound like she was about to ask me like the craziest well, I was question. Like, but because I was like, what if you were like, oh my God, I'm put on the spot. Oh my God. No, it's, I mean, like I should be able to do this. You should. Like, I should be able to do this. Let me, See, I'm going to try to find a good one. I think it's because I would not be able to do this. Sometimes I'm not. Like one time I, um, they were like, do like a bald eagle at an eagle conference. And I said, I'd like eagle Pisha or something. And like, I got really <laughs> scared after like, do you remember that Matt? Were you there? Yeah, that was uh, yeah. I'm so excited. And if you don't want this one, I have so okay, many. Okay, okay. What about princess realizing she's sleeping on the P? Oh, I've been almost doing that one. And I was going to do it in the, se- okay, I'll do that one. Okay. 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 Wait, <laughs> okay. I need to like really get into it. Okay. Hold on. I'm not here. I won't. Okay. Look. Okay, fuck. I wish I could like take this mic out and do it because, okay, so let me set the scene for everyone. Okay. God, this is everything. The princess is at home and she has been trying to call her landlord for months and she's like, my back fucking hurts. Okay. Like something is wrong. (laughs) And the landlord is there. Okay. Let me just. (laughs) This is the best day of my life. Can you guys? Okay. I will put subtitles. This is just for me. I'm not even literally kidding. It's like I lay down right okay. here. I'm here. And I don't know. It's just like every time I know I've called you about it like a bunch. You're my landlord. Oh, and shit. Okay. Hold on. I lay down right here okay. and I just don't understand because I it's like and also like the fucking like mattress is like stapled okay. to the bed frame. So I can't really tell what's <laughs> under it. But it's almost like this like piercing point of pain. Okay. Right here. Okay. And like and I hate to pull this card, but like. I am a princess and like, I don't want to be in pain all the time. And like, I did sign this lease a while ago and I, I just, um, could you just maybe lay down and like, let me know how it feels for you and be honest. Cause the last landlord I had, like, you know, how landlords get. <laughs> I too. How does it feel? Okay. Now I hear, I need, I need some creative. Um, I need to talk to Jake. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. <laughs> was that okay? No, You're so a- good. So good. Did you want me to keep going? No, we can stop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, 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 this is, I'm serious. This is the best day of my life. You're so good at this. Hold on. Do you like that? It's so funny. I, try- I was trying to explain this to somebody in- the other day, like without having shown him any videos. And I was like, so he, he does like, imagine if. And it right. was impossible. It's impossible to explain. I, I frequently am trying to explain this to straight men too. And I weirdly think it is like so for the girls and the gays. I did. Um, I did Mark Zuckerberg inventing Facebook in his dorm. And I had my friend go, go Marky, go Mark. And then I played Yes <laughs> And by Ariana Grande. I danced around the room after I launched Facebook. <laughs> Have you ever had anyone reach out from you doing these? Yeah, all the time. Like someone you did one on? Uh, like Mark? <laughs> Mm, or like okay. a Jonas brother. The Jonas brothers one happened um because I did this thing where it was like Coke finding out about Diet Coke or Diet Coke finding out about Coke Zero. And then um 
I think Nick Jonas was the first person to do edit or Joe Jonas was. And then I DM'd him and like, I, he got like the other brothers involved and then like, just say the, the, the other brothers involved. Like it's just like so casual. It was, that was the first, and that was two weeks after everything happened. So that was like crazy. That is, that so, is so fucking so exciting. crazy. You know, Frankie Jonas has Tana tattooed on his leg. No, he does not. He does. does, he, does. Actually? he really does. I couldn't get like Nick or Joe or Kevin, you know? So yeah. thank you, Frankie. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm actually just kidding. He's my favorite human on this fucking literal planet. Jackie Kennedy's reaction to Marilyn Monroe singing happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> okay. So it's so funny. You bring this one up because this <laughs> has been the most highly requested one. And I can't, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I've been trying. Have I not been trying have, for almost a year now? Like maybe because you've never had a boyfriend, you don't know the like real angst yeah, the, like you would feel or like the dis like I what could you even describe that feeling as? Like, should we try to roll? Should you be the you, president? Would you sing it? Would you or sing you, it? And uh, I can be I'll Jackie. Be <laughs> OK. OK. So you're the president. Yeah. And then you're the president. And like you're like trying to be like, it's fine. And I'm like, don't touch me. OK. 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 Ready? <laughs> We have to be in love. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. <laughs> Happy birthday to I see what you mean. There's no words. Yeah, it's just the face. <laughs> but I caught his face and I couldn't hold it together. <laughs> I, just had, I was oh. trying not to look at you. I was trying to really be like that. Damn, I would really cut a bitch. Oh my God. I'm not even literally kidding at all. Oh, Shit. I would That's freak kinda out. That's kind of like crazy. Yeah. Do you think that has to do with her like... No. No. <laughs> next one, next one. We're just... what, I'm getting too that? excited over here. <laughs> Way too fucking excited. The bagel when everything but the bagel seasoning came out. Okay. <laughs> Give me your phone. Because I just need to pretend I'm on the phone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> God, I wish I was high. Because if I was high, like they would just flow like a river. Do you do them high? Every single one I do is high. Maybe that's why I love them so much. Because yeah. I'm usually high watching them. And it just like, I, I it speaks to me. Everyone's it like. to me and I don't even. I was like, I have to be high. Okay, everything. You know what? Let's revisit this at the end when I can think of a good, a good, because I'm like, it's not going to be funny. And then I'm going to feel so embarrassed. <laughs> you have all I the time in the world. Understand. I completely understand. I need some off camera ones, too, that are like oh, yeah. really fucking offensive. Yeah. Like, seriously, yeah. I just ones that you would just I never. Have so many things to say to you off camera, honestly. Oh, yeah, um, I'm, I'm pumped. I absolutely can't wait. Well, I mean, I guess we were just talking about you in college and I kind of want to like. So the first time you and I ever met, we were at a D'Amelio footwear event. Mm -hmm. Things that happened in this industry and the events are just so crazy and yeah. weird. And when you think about it out of your own body, you're like, what's going on? Like I, there were like ice carvings of high heels everywhere right. and like dancers swinging from the ceiling. And like, you know, it just it, you and I both kind of looked at each other and it was like this moment of like. What the hell is going on right, right now? It's just like crazy just because like I think it all happened really fast for me because I did already live in L.A. So like I lived here and it was just kind of like, yeah. OK, well, you blew up on TikTok. Here you go. Yeah, like, you know, here. like you're in, like suddenly you're invited to all these things. And it's like, I don't know. I just I always get um, really like socially anxious there because like everyone's like in their corners and like looking around and like I just like I like crawl into my skin. I don't mm, know. Yeah. Like, what did you do before TikTok? I worked at a record label. So you oh, oh. So you, that makes sense why you love music yeah. so much. You've always what was your like role there? Do you still work there? Um, No, not anymore. But funny story. Um, OK, so I worked in international marketing. OK, Uh, so basically I would just help like for a really long time, like pull numbers internationally for all the tracks and figure out like which countries we needed to push them in and market them in and et cetera. And then How I the became- How the fuck do you know that? That's some crazy power. Well, like this one will slay in India. No, like, cause like you- Well, if it's you, not doing so well in India, then that's where you have to like- No, no, no. Them. Like basically what would happen is like you would, you like you look at the charts and then like you look at where the song does well and like you just basically like look at trends. And if it's like going up. Oh, so up, if it's doing well somewhere, yeah, you want to market it more push. there? If it's done well there previously and the new one isn't doing well there, you like, okay, maybe we should push this one a little more, et cetera, type thing. Okay. okay. Then I became the executive assistant to um, the president of the company who also owns a management company for influencers. And he always made the joke, like, if you ever blow up, I'll manage you. If you ever blow up, I'll manage you. Mm, now he, he manages me. Yeah. 
That's actually crazy. Yeah. That's incredible, though, that you guys like already knew each other before. And it yeah. was like, you know what I mean? What does an executive assistant to the president of a record label do? Everything and anything like scheduling, anything. Basically, my job was like anything you needed. Like, I'm here to make your life easier. That's I, inc- do you miss it ever? Yeah, all the time. I know that sounds crazy, but I well, I just I love him so much. Yeah. He's like one of my best friends and he's like my second dad. And yeah. like, so like it was so fun. And, like, he believed in me so much. So, like, he, like, brought me everywhere with him. And, like, I got to, like, learn a lot. And, like, at the time, I was, like, this is my life. So I'm so lucky to be able to, like, be in these rooms and, like, do this stuff. So, like, I I sometimes, like, miss that feeling of, like. Do you miss the structure ever as well? Yeah, sometimes. It's just, it is really, really crazy how fast, like, everything has happened for you. And I, like, I always talk about this because I kind of came up in a time where it was really slow. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like getting management and just people didn't take an influencer seriously at all right. at the time that I like blew up. So it was like very well, you kind like, of like slow paved climb. the way. That's so nice. It's true. You're no? so nice. It's, that was right? so nice. I love you. It's true. It is I, true. I don't, I definitely, I don't look at it that way, but I appreciate that. And it definitely just was like a very different time. And it was like, I remember we were first texting and you were still working at your job and you're we like, let's go get lunch or whatever. And you were like, okay, when I'm off and like, whatever. And then like, before I know it, you're like signed to a label. You're making shit with Olivia Rodrigo. Right. You're doing all this just crazy right. shit. And it's, does it, have she you, reached out? Did that she? Was, yes. That if you were to ask like, what's the one person that reached out, she reached out that right before so vampire amazing. came out. Well, no vampire came out. I made a reaction video to it where I was just like flailing around in my bed because mm, who I remember doesn't love video. Olivia Rodrigo? You were with someone There's too. No, one. no I it was, was alone. Oh, that was um, that was Peyton for um, Logical. Oh <laughs> my god! I was alone for Vampire, and I was like, and then I woke up to a comment from her, and I was like, <gasps> yeah. And then um, twenty minutes later, I got a DM, and she was like, "Are you free tomorrow?" And I was like, "I'm literally free for the rest of my life." For yeah, you. like god, I love her so that, much. That is so awesome knowing that she's funny like that. Like, yeah. I feel like it's like you're one of those people where if someone likes your content, I know they're funny. Oh, so, and my it's God. like, no, what? it's it just like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Also, there's nobody ever that has done like what you do specifically. Like, and no one can. I've seen people like try and I'm like, oh, that's embarrassing. Well, if somebody else <laughs> came out like all of a sudden role playing, I'd be like, I, that's yeah. so funny you say that because I feel like I'm so unoriginal with it. So that's why I feel like no. I have to like make so many bits up as I go along of my life. No, it's incredible. I don't think so at all. And you know, I take inspiration from you with that, by the way. Like you you would always make stuff that you do. Like, you know what I mean? Like a bit, like everything's like a bit. And so everything's a bit. Everything's a bit. And so that's like, I lost my luggage once and I was like crying on the floor and I was like, whatever. Like, I'm just going to make this my entire personality. (laughs) Absolutely. It does. It really is that. It does like, I think it makes living life more fun in general. I've always been that way. Like even before social media, just I'm dramatic as hell. Like whatever it is, I'm making it the bit or if something bad's happening, I'm like, well, at least this is for the bit, you know? Right. And I think everyone should live like that. Everything should be for the fucking bit. That's how I was before it, everything happened. It was just like, um, it was people called it like hyperfixation and not a bit. And now people are able to call it a bit, which makes me feel better. It's literally just hyperfixation. It's just my horrible ADHD, but it works. It works. It does work. It really does. I want to, what else do I want to know? So now like, how did that work? First of all, I want to go back to the Olivia thing. So yes. she DMs you, she shows up, you guys just make a TikTok. Have you hung out since? Like, do you talk? What's. Oh, uh, I congratulate her on stuff. Like a freak. <laughs> I'm like, congrats. <laughs> Please text me back. So I went over to, I think we were at her manager's house or something. And she opened the door and I was like, oh my God, I, like, I can't believe I'm like with Olivia Rodrigo right now. Yeah. And we just sat and hung out and ate like candy for like, an hour and then uh I had I had brought blood bags to make do like a little vampire skit with yeah. and so we took straws mm-hmm. and filled them up with like cranberry juice for like 30 minutes and talked and then by the time we filled the skit uh, filmed the skit it was like like we were so comfortable and oh, she's, she's so, so cute. cute yeah she's I the best her the so much. do you feel like your friendship with Sophia has helped you kind of Yes. Like navigate the celebrity of it all. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I listen to anything she says. Like I go to her. She's like my big sister. I go to her for absolutely everything. She's been in the game for so long Mm -hmm. that I ask her everything. So like if I'm unsure about something, like I usually call her. Yeah. And I'm like, what do you think about this? How did you guys meet? Um, My best friend, Alice. Yeah. um, The British one who I go to London with. Mm, Yeah. Her brother is married to Sophia. Oh, okay. Yes. And so Alice and her brother are very close and everyone just spends a lot of time together. Mm-hmm. And then Sophia and I really just clicked. And then after this all happened, we got even closer. Was this like, before your social media journey? Yes. 
That's actually kind of, that's so crazy. Yeah. It's like, it's just, so then like. I remember, cause it was like right when you first started really getting big, everyone's like, he's at the wedding. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was just so like, I think you, didn't you like do like a speech or something? Oh, no, I was the flower. Oh no. I, I, well, I did the or pass the, up. I did a pass that post review at the wedding. They had octopus at the wedding. Yeah. Well, think? they had octopus like at the restaurant the a few nights before the wedding. So I did it there. And that was the most anxious I've ever been to do one. Really? Yeah. Well, well, well you had yeah. an audience. I had a fucking audience. What? Tell us about the wedding. Best week of my life. Oh, my like God. best week of my life. Like absolute fairy tale. Like I remember just being like, what is happening right now? Like I she just like would she would come down every day looking absolutely Perfect. Like ethereal. Like, like perfect. Like perfect. Yeah. And she was so happy. She was like the easiest bride, like the e most easygoing, happy bride. And like That's it was so slay. And it was just so awesome to be around. You could feel the love. Everyone was so happy to be there. And like it was just us in the hotel. And we were just like running around and like so did people get uh, drunk? How beautiful. Yeah, I got wasted. <laughs> Absolutely wasted. And then I had scaries. Like, have you ever had scaries that same night? Yeah. Oh like, my sure. God. I had scaries that night. Like I was like, oh, like, what did I do? And everyone was like, it's literally a wedding. It's not about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's I always get so drunk at weddings. Yeah. Like I just I yeah, I don't know what to do with my hands. Oh, I like, black it's out. It's just one of those every things time. Where but it was so fun. That's what yeah. you have to do at a wedding, though. It's almost like embarrassing if you aren't a blackout right. at a wedding. Mm -hmm. She was just like, and then she, um, so after after the dinner, she changed into her after party look, which was like, I think it was modeled off of, um, I forget her name, some really famous model. It was like this Chanel look, and she just popped out, and I was like, oh my god. And she was on stage with Good Charlotte, and um, <laughs> it was like she was just like rocking out and like. Just fucking killing it. Like, it it's, was so cool to see. She really just is that bitch. And I think she it's, is that bitch. It's so like, it was just perfect timing, everything like the Sophia Richie era. And you like your come up was like at the same time and you guys are already being friends. It just and it's even just for her. I think that your guys, this friendship, like it almost humanizes her in a way that, yeah, cause you know, I feel like I looked at her like, well, I still do look at her. Yeah. Like she's but like, she's a like her, royal. Like, and not that like just in a good way, like knowing yeah. that you guys are like silly together and stuff like that. I think she's the really most cool. silly and she's the best. Like and she, it, the best part about that whole wedding thing is that no one was expecting any of that for any of that to happen. Yeah. Like I just remember being like, I really think you should um, like do your tick, do a TikTok this week. Yeah. And she was like, OK. And so I'd be in the room and then I took her phone and I would lock myself in the bathroom and I would like edit for her Yeah, because she was the bride. She was so busy. So I'm like, I will edit for you. Like you go do your thing. Like, and I would yeah. edit and then I would hand her the phone back. And then like all of a sudden we woke up it's and just she the most was like, viral wedding in the world. And she was yeah. like, wait, the people are really talking about this. I was like, no, no like a lot of people are talking <laughs> about this. Like, there's not a person who's not talking about this. Absolutely. That is crazy. It's cool that she didn't even kind of know or like plan any of that. She it was just, happened. just so... In the moment. In love. And yeah. like, it was like a, it was like a real beautiful, like, <laughs> I'm wedding. so happy for her. Like, I know her. Like I'm like, oh my God, I'm so it's proud. It's so fucking incredible though. It really fucking is. I Fuck. want that. She's younger than us. That is crazy. Do you have any advice for the, the girls out there trying to be in their Sophia Richie era as um, someone who sees her in a light that maybe not everyone sees her in? She's just so, I feel like herself. Like, she's just, like, God so... God damn it. I'm fucked. She's so... But no, I feel like... And that really shines through. Like, she's just, like, you know, she's happy. She's happy where she's at. She's happy with her life. And she's so... She loves her friends. She loves her family. And I think that's why people really tend to gravitate towards her. I mean, that's at least... That makes sense. Yeah. Like, I think that is a thing that people don't talk about enough is, like, a lot of times there isn't a secret to it. Like, right. There's you know not. what I mean? Like, that's what she, I'm saying. There's... She's just... Yeah. She's just that girl. Do you think she's going <laughs> to end up being the one that sets you up with, like, your first real person? Like first real boyfriend, first real like I could just so see that. Maybe, yeah, probably. She's got good yeah. taste because I like take her word as like the Bible. Yeah. So like, if she'll recommend me to a guy and she's like, go out with this guy, like I'll do it. That's so slay. I I'm really so can't... excited to see who the first person you end up like dating is. Oh God, me you too. Need, are you on the apps at least? Yes, and they are the worst thing for well, my mind. Are you on Raya? Yes. It's hard for me because I don't like going on dates either. I'm, I get nervous before dates and I have to drink before them, which is like oh, honestly me too. a bad habit. But. You have to go. I once went on a date and I was like, I'm going to drink. This is great. We're in my neighborhood. And he ordered tea. <gasps> I'm so sorry. I'm not here to shame. He wasn't like sober though. He wasn't like, I'm sober. He was just like, I'm feeling tea tonight. And I was like, 
this is already not working. That would scare <laughs> like, me. That would scare me so it really badly. Would. It was, he and was like so sucks. horrible. But it, I've I was, done that. It was, Can I be real? You have? It was 7 p.m. at night. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> like, what is happening? Yeah, I just feel I like, like it's so important to a first date and I want to grow out of that so bad because it's like, obviously, mm -hmm. I, I don't really want somebody who's just drinking all the time. Right. But I... I'm drinking all the time. As you guys may or may not know, I go on my little sober stints and I'm on mm -hmm. one right now. Um, I'm taken right now, obviously, so I'm not having to like date, but I've had sober stints where I was going on dates. Right. And it is like weird. Like I almost can feel like the other person's like, really, you're not like, you know what I mean? Like you're not drinking and it, you make them uncomfortable, right. which then, but I like it because it's like intimidating. Yeah. And I'm like, I've gone out with sober people and just pretended I didn't drink. Like I've pre-gamed the date. Mm -hmm. And just had to ride it out until it was over. Oh, that's kind of awful. I'm a good pretender, though. I've also gone on dates with sober people and blacked the fuck out and yeah. been like so yeah, awful. Yeah, but and then you don't want to like, I would always be afraid that they'd be like, why are you drinking so much? Oh, Ugh. I've definitely done that. Yeah, I've definitely me too. been that. I need to go on more dates. This is like inspiring me to, but, but the apps are so hard. I feel like. I try a date. I feel like month. I make myself look like such a fool on the internet that some people like can't take me seriously. And <laughs> also the gay scene in LA is so intimidating. That's, I mean, dude, Ari one time was showing me his hinge and like, <laughs> no, 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 you with a shirt that literally says gay on it. <laughs> 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 he was showing me his hinge though and the guys the gay scene on hinge it was like furries and shit it's like it was like really <laughs> fucking scary like it was like but then it's also like you know there's like there's these groups of gays that are just like that you get so i get so nervous around and i feel like such an idiot around like i don't know like i just i can never tell when someone's flirting with me unless they're like i want to fuck you i'm like oh he's flirting yeah like, it's literally you know it's what that i mean or like oh thank you yeah. <laughs> like um but i can never tell and my friends are like no he's he's flirting i'm like it like i can't I, i'm such i'm so i think my my fatal flaw is how impatient i am i'm so fucking impatient me too and so i can't stand the the build up of it and like the limbo me and yeah. too does i can't like me. consistently talk to someone long enough to even get on the date most of me, the time that's my that's my issue i think i have to just be so upfront in those situations i'm so like what are we coded yeah like i will go too. on three fucking dates and i'm like so what are we yeah like well, i just that, um, you've already me got after to the one date, date. Yeah, wait me after true. one date oh not me unfortunately i, guess getting I keep to the getting locked is in kind of the like the stressful no, hard that's, part yeah that's the hard part is physically getting there i need somebody to be like okay let's do this tomorrow yeah because otherwise if it's like we have to text for a couple weeks i will I i'm just, the opposite though i want to facetime like three times like i want to know that you're not fucking weird yeah that's the worst well, thing you in the like world. have to do that kind of no one really wants to murder me i guess that's true i wasn't even thinking murderer i was more oh. so just thinking like can you hold a conversation? Cause that is like the fucking worst. Like if I'm trapped on a date with you and you can't, and I can't be nice about it. Like I will literally just be like, check right. please. Like yeah. I can't, it's. I'm also the worst at restaurants because I can't sit still. So I'm like, I need to get up and go. That's fair. And so like, I'm like, sit there, I'm like, oh, like I just, I need to leave. Like actually Lexi was with me one time we were in New York and she hadn't even finished eating. And I was like, I need to go. And we got the check <laughs> and I, like that. I paid it. I stood up. And we were like half inside, half outside. I walked outside and looked at her and my friend Cassidy and was like, you guys can finish. I just can't sit down. I'm, I kind <laughs> like, of understand that completely. I'm like such an asshole in the regard that once I finish my meal, I expect everyone to be finished. It's like, what are we doing? My thing is, it's horrible. It's my worst trait and I, I hate it, but I... I start to sweat. I get really hot. And then I'm like, I, I need to go. I need to get I out of here. I completely understand. I'm the exact same way. Like, can we yeah. eat with some fucking hustle and bustle? Can right. we eat with intent? Back to Torah. I must meet up with you guys in Fayetteville. Wait, can you please like just be a guest? We want to have guests. Wait, can I be a guest in you Fayetteville? You were a guest for yes. Brian and Grace too, right? Yes. And that was so fun. Same thing. We'll run it all by your team. We won't blindside you for anything. I promise. Because the canceled live shows are crazy. Wait, I'm like game for it. I'm like, let's do it. Fayetteville is my place. I love the University of Arkansas. We're going in. We're about to book you for Wait, what, 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 what day are you there? Do you know? I mean, I I'm asking. Know. You know what? We can talk about this later. But yes, I, I'm game. You have to absolutely come and we do some shit live. I would love to. No, And now the absolutely. Fayetteville fans are going to be so excited that they no, get you. I have an Arkansas hat. I wear it every single day. I because it I meant so I much to me. I didn't know that people would show up, Aww, and well, so seeing people, people show, up. show, I had no idea. I was like, you can't see numbers online and be like, okay, this is totally. It doesn't equate. feel real. That's what happened to me on tour. I was like, oh my god, these are real human. No, people. you can't. You people are like so many. Of course, people are going to show up. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I know. Yeah. Artists have to cancel their tours all the time because they don't like, sell. Yeah. Arkansas doesn't feel like a real place. I don't know if I've ever been to Arkansas. And I'm like, is I haven't that, either. What's it, what is it even like? Like, what does it look like? They're there? so nice. 
They are, are they? so nice. I love that you're just an Arkansas stan. Like, Wait, I and I was know. going and everyone was like, why are you going to Arkansas? And I was like, my first live show was there. And they were like, I feel like no, I feel like you don't have any pussies in Arkansas. Like no one's going to show up. And I was like, love that your fans are. Have you been into any trouble with like the whole pussies thing being your. Yeah. First brands like weren't game for it. And then I was like, okay, so I'll, I won't work with you. I don't care. Yeah. Thank love God. It. And then they came back and we're like, wait, never mind. I We're love it so much. Because I was like, I don't give a fuck. I was like, if you're not going to take me as I am, like, this is how I blew up. This is how everything happened for me. If you're not going to take me as I am, then that's fine. Yeah, imagine Watch if me you tried to I make know. it, like, G-rated. No, then it's, where's the fun? Yeah. There's no Completely. fun. Completely. And I am just, I am a pussy. Yeah. What's going on in the world right now? I want to know your, like, uh, takes on topics. Oh. Yeah, I swear to God, Drake's it. dick is, like, the only thing that's Ugh. on my mind. I said, speaking mind. of coming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look, I can't believe he's hung like that. Can I be honest with you? I really thought it was going to be a me too. Piquito, pito. I he does kind of give those vibes the way that he moves on stage. I try or have already talked about this. But maybe I, that's I why he bad. dances like that because there's like another leg in the yeah, way. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I've never seen something like that. I was floored. I <laughs> sent it to every single person I know. I said, watch this right now before it gets taken down. You know what? It hasn't gotten taken down because the, I bet he's like, keep it up. Not kidding. I, I bet yeah. he leaked it. Honestly, I feel like I would do that to myself. If I were like horsed up. I would 100% I love horse post up. my mm -hmm. own photos. I love, mm -hmm. I just called uh, my boyfriend horse cock the other day and then I found out his little brother was like on the other side of the phone. And I like, I'm not kidding. I can't get over it. I'm so mortified. I am, I didn't know. And Oh, wow. The silence is crazy. That's that's what needs to happen is you need to always <laughs> say that somebody else is in the room if you are on speakerphone. Always. Phone. I answer the yeah. phone and I say, Aya, are you alone? I love Aya. Like I say, Aya. <laughs> and then my friends are either like, yes or no. Or I always, if I answer, I say, hi, I'm with blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Or I say, hi, you're on speaker with blah, blah, blah. 100%. I've he never, because I have been in. He knew he made a mistake, a very, very vital mistake immediately as it happened. But I just can't. I bet he won't do it away. again. It's just like, well, it's like, you know, don't be horse cocked up if you don't want to be called horse cocked. Yeah. You know? And I've yeah. always said it's that. It's also a compliment. It really is. It's just, I just don't think his little brother needed to know that. How old is his little brother? Know. Oh, man. We just don't even have okay, to. Period. What do you think yours would be like if you had one? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I really don't think so. I think you would have a big one. I think I would have a small one probably because I'm short. I have short a little brother. Features. <laughs> huh? Do you? Are you talking about penises or little brothers? <laughs> I'm talking. That's why I was like, when he was like tiny, I was like, tiny little brother. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> My brother is short. Um, <laughs> I wish I had a little brother or a penis. Honestly, both are two things I really What's, want. What would you do the first day that you had a penis besides um, masturbate? Spell my name in snow. I would fly to snow and I would start peeing and I would write Tana. <laughs> I've never done that. You haven't? You should try it. You're wasting your art. Yeah. The only thing I do, and ugh, this is so gross. I'm so excited. Okay, well, I pee in the shower. Like, I'm sorry. What? If that's. Be no, so fuck. fucking for real. Pick Pick me. Someone was Pick like, me, choose yeah. me. No, someone was yelling at me. And I play the game every time I get in the shower where I make sure that I have to get it in the bullseye of the drain. Or else, I, bad, or else I'll get bad luck I for five years. I keep in every real. single yeah. shower I've ever been in. That's Thank like, you. Okay, no. well, normally I would say that's normal, but everyone was like, ew, the other day. Who, I'm get really rid of, sorry get rid of all that. Okay, people. sorry, I didn't mean to come off like Junie B. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. The Junie B reference is hilarious. Dude, oh, I'm Junie sorry, B. That was cringy, but he you texted know. me and he was like, who's Junie B? She sent me an apology. No, she, she no, didn't. Because she was getting hate. Okay, so what exactly happened? What did she say in the apology? No, I haven't opened it. I'm not kidding. What did she say to you? Because I she feel was, so guilty. She said to you, you will never work with these brands. The pr in, not in so many words. You were there. She literally just like every <laughs> Yeah, it's it's more the series of pick me events. She'll just say the most insane things, like out of pocket things. But I really think she like I think those believes are just, that. Yeah, and like yeah. she's not intentional. She's not being mean. Uh -huh. But it's very like oh my god, I cannot believe you thought that was okay to come out of your mouth. <laughs> I've had a lot of fun with her and I, I want to clarify that we have a lot of characters where we'll tell like a negative story and it's like you know. I mean, he's the story. looking, he's going, no, you haven't. The story. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, fuck. No. no uh, <laughs> like, the, of course, the negative, crazy story is going to make it to the podcast. That right. doesn't negate that one time, like, she really liked my outfit and, like, we talked about <laughs> boys for 30 and, like, it was fine, you know? It, it, 
Oh. I've had fun with her, but listen, if I tell a story about somebody on the podcast, I like you know, it's between you and me and not her. You know what I mean? You guys do not have to comment on her stuff. <laughs> but I, I, I literally, yeah. she got so many comments. She literally just DM me and she was like, so how long should I filter my comments for? Just like realistically speaking, like how many weeks? Oh, fuck. And I was like, uh, six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean and I also feel like you gave her a lot of leeway she, you know like time one time I two like time her, but three she time. Know, but she knows and like what I said she like she knows that really like actively happened I can't believe I'm here for this like this is amazing <laughs> like holy shit we, we love you Junie B me, I like this idea of you just being here for some lore let me see what I have for I like know, our like, podcasts that we could maybe talk about wait right I want to see if I have any topics that I wrote down for just you and um, that's what yeah. me that you would be way better for isn't it crazy someone put me on to this the other day okay dyslexia is a really hard word to spell don't you think that's kind of like fucked up yeah that's D-Y- like D-Y dis d-y-s-l-e-x-i-a but no but you don't have dyslexia same concept my brother does <laughs> <laughs> your tiny brother yeah <laughs> people with a lisp can't say lisp oh that's what i was oh, gonna, that's I was gonna up. tell you that next i'm so sorry you but you're so let me get to it saying stutter makes you kind of stutter stutter you know who has a lisp oh, well never mind <laughs> <laughs> he's looking at you like don't you dare ibophobia is the fear of palindromes, words that are spelled the same forwards and backwards. And ibophobia is spelled the same forwards and backwards. I don't know what any of those things are. I'm what? so sorry. Have you guys seen Griselda on Netflix yet? <laughs> no, but I keep, I keep hearing I should. It's amazing. Really? I haven't shut up about it all week. Sophia Vergara is everything. She's that bitch. I wanted to cuss me out so bad. No, she and she like shows off her acting chops <laughs> in this um in this show. She's amazing. I really have been meaning to watch that. It's, I think you I will would love like, it. Tonight. It's amazing. Well, I've never seen Narcos either. And now everyone's like, you got to watch Narcos if you love it's Griselda. It's the same vibe. Yeah, it's the same. Well, because the show starts off with a quote and it says the only what the only man I was ever scared of was a woman named Griselda Blanco dash Pablo Escobar. And I was like, oh, this show is about to be my new my new favorite thing. Oh, that's actually fucking crazy. Isn't that hard? Like, that's like... Yeah, that's crazy. I have to watch it. No, I need amazing. a new series. I love I have a such female a drug time. lord. Same. Like, Same. I swear that was my journey. And I just somehow mm-hmm. ended up on this couch with a microphone. You know oh, what I mean? This couch. I don't know. I wouldn't have been good at it at all. I cannot keep a secret. Yes, <laughs> yeah, I can. I can keep a secret. <laughs> What was I going to fucking say just now? Did you see Sofia Vergara on Drew Barrymore and Drew no, Barrymore? No, I haven't. It was so funny. She like kind of cooked Drew Barrymore. What'd like, she say? Well, let me find it. Wait, was, is, was she the one who was like, oh, it didn't, it didn't look like you did that much makeup for it. And she was like, Drew, shut up. Because like, Sofia obviously had to go through like all this. Right, um, right. Like I'm uh, sure, prosthetics yeah. and stuff. And someone was like, no, it looked, it, you looked the same. That's like, what Drew really... Barrymore was saying to her. And she was like, you know Drew. what that's Wait. giving? Well, that's not the truth, Ellen. Oh <laughs> my God. I, we, what's her name again? Dakota, uh, Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson. We do not, like, we did not give her enough credit at the time for like she cooking Ellen most multiple times. Incredible person. Everything. She does the most like iconic. Like, do you remember she. Architectural digest yes, when she yes. lied about the lemons. Yes. I knew you were going to say that. Where did you do? say that? I don't know. She yes, like, I was. She did like an architectural digest, like um, like where she walks through her home and like shows everything. She's like, she, these are the lemons I have every day. And then later she's like, I don't know why I said that. I, I don't, don't eat lemons. I, she's like, I fucking hate lemons. I don't <laughs> even know why I made that up. I love her. I have a crush on her. Same. She's I'm really good for her. Mm-hmm. For sure. Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. Maybe that's why. Fifty sure Shades of Grey why. changed me, dude. I couldn't. I never watched it. What? Yeah, I don't know. I think you have to. I know. I think I have to, too. It's hot. I it know. is hot. My but it just makes me upset because I want Jamie Dornan and like I watch it and I can't have him. That's so So fair. I'm like, I just. Yeah, that's why he couldn't see Saltburn. I didn't make it through Saltburn. Well, well I, kind of. I can't watch Call Me By Your Name again because I dream of a romance like that. With an older I man know, I haven't Italy. even seen it. I'm, I'm sorry. To... It like ruined my life. I watched it in high school and I was like, that's what I want. I get so like romantically involved with characters that it can like actually like one time. I'm not kidding. I can get over a breakup just watching Vampire Diaries through again because <gasps> mm-hmm. Damon Salvatore. I'm like, I mm-hmm. will never love somebody as much as I love him. And you know, Mystic Falls is a real place. <gasps> we have to go. Wait, it's like a real on place. Tour. The church I'm is real. Gonna... Everything is real. <laughs> we I've have never to seen go Vampire tour. Diaries. <gasps> oh my, my God. God. Really? Previously on the Vampire Diaries. It's amazing. It's awk amazing. I've, that's the only show I've watched like seven times through and every single time I'm just as interested. I, really? I stopped after season four, but then I... <gasps> what? I know. And then I watched the season, the series finale with my friend Peyton and she was hysterically sobbing. Oh my God. You would love Demon so much. It would make really? you sick. 
Okay, yeah. maybe I'll get she, into like, kills it. kills people. It's I awesome. was just going to say I can only um, obsess people. over characters if they're murderers, which I know. Like, oh, well, so do you everyone, like Dexter? Everyone in the Dexter's show is a murderer. my favorite troll of all time. Uh-huh. What? I didn't even know that. Yeah, I love it. Michael C. Hall could fucking. Yeah, he's hot as fuck. Deck me in the face. Oh, but, wow. I swear to God. You know, he got cancer and then came back for the next Dexter. No way. I might have just made that up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's true. I'm not sure. He's gorgeous. He's daddy. He really is. What else do I have? Do we see Demi Lovato um, singing Heart Attack for the cardio uh, Iconic. people? I think it's easily the funniest thing to ever happen <laughs> it's, it's in giving, the world. It's like, like, <laughs> can I say, like, do you remember when Beyonce did the 9-11 tribute and she did the no passengers on my plane thing? Do you remember that? That's what it's given. I don't remember that, but that is uh, What? Insane. You've never seen this? Look it up. It's like, but, it's just giving that. What I saw someone say though, like the fact that Demi Lovato chose that heart song attack. when she has a song called "Give Your Heart a Break." <laughs> yeah, why would she choose Heart Attack? It's iconic. And I said, I said the other day, I said in ten years' time we are going to look back on that and <laughs> think that it was the most amazing thing ever. And then someone's like commented, like, "Yeah, like it's going to be like, hi, I'm blah blah blah, and I'm dressed up as Demi Lovato singing Heart Attack for oh, a heart." Oh, this Halloween! Like, I'm yeah. so yeah. sad. She had poo, and now this. She's like a meme always. <laughs> don't don't forget about the yogurt shop. I can't talk. The <gasps> yogurt shop. The yogurt shop changed me as a fucking no, person. No, I went to the big chill and I remember being like, is this what she freaked out about? What, like, Wait, it's a, what is it called? It was the big chill. That's the place? Can I say, yeah, it was the big chill. Wow. <laughs> like, that's what she was freaking out because they had, what did they have? It was like sugar-free cookies sugar or something. Sugar-free, like they're, they're literally still there. diabetic. Well, sugar-free cookies are still there. About? It's like historical. Yeah, it really is. I need yeah. to try them. I'm not I bet it honestly give them a little boost because of how many people Oh my people God, no, like, I went the there and I have photos. I'll send them to you guys or I'll find them after this of me being like, oh my God, like, I think I took a photo in front of it. <laughs> like, I was like, oh my- It's a landmark. It's a landmark. Wait, so what was she mad about? Because if she, she was, was triggered by she the sugar-free. She got sugar triggered free. that it said sugar-free while she was on the way to get yogurt. But I'm dead Because serious. she was on a, she was, she was in recovery, I think. But, but which is what? very, sugar? very serious. I don't think that but was there the are real diabetics who like need things well, to it's eat. Also, it was just like, this is like a, it was like a small business with like one location that takes cash only. So people were like, girl. <laughs> Let them sell the sugar-free cookies. Oh my God, that's horrible. Yeah, and she posted it to her cool like, 60 million followers. Yeah, she was like, yeah. fuck this place. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, Beyonce, I do love her. Beyonce Diva live at Jay-Z 911 tribute concert in New York City live on Fuse TV. Do you know that people think her next album is going to be country because she was wearing like the country hat and stuff? I would literally I would, I, I would die. die. I, mean, I would do such anything. Such a country like phase right now. It would just be cool to go, go from album. like um, like house music to country. Like it'd be a cool transition. I agree 100%. I need her too because I, I did see Renaissance and it was amazing, but I was, amazing. it was just, I, it's not what I listened to. You oh, know what yeah. I mean? So if, if she was up At there, first, fucking- I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get into this. And then when you really listen to it, all the songs bleed into one another. Like they transition really well into each other. So I, for like two months straight, I would play it from start to finish before I would go out. Oh, and now you, now and you, then you, it now just became like it. my, like, and then I saw it live and it was like amazing. It was insane live. She's just not real. She she's feels real. like her life felt like she was like animatronics. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was just like, she's, there's no way this is a real human it's being. It's crazy. And she's been at it since she was like a kid. Yeah. Yeah. God, Jesus Christ. I want to see her in her country era. Same. So bad. I want to see everybody in their country era. Same. Lana's in her country era really soon. You Do you know who so? asked me to come on the canceled the sh- podcast? Who? who? Do you know that girl who became famous <laughs> for like looking like Ariana Grande? <gasps> Paige. <laughs> I blocked her. <laughs> wait, why? Wait, why not? Okay, wait, no, like, wait. Why blo- wait? <laughs> she has Paige Newman as her name now. I blocked her. It really upset me what she was doing. <laughs> <laughs> I, she wants to come on canceled. Oh, and I think don't. it's so funny. We don't talk about this enough. The amount of people that ask me to come on canceled, and I'm like, you are not getting tickets for that show. Not that. <laughs> Not that we're I'm like, not, oh, that's mean. not that we're like the shit. I don't, th- that made me sound like such a fucking narcissistic asshole. And I don't no, mean like it's that. Your just, show. You, still, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just think it's like certain people. It's like, for what? Well, like, I just you think know? it's hard. Well, I get, I, I don't really know a lot about her, but, but what I she's wanna, doing with the Ariana thing, like upsets me. Like but it like, genuinely upsets me. Do you see the girl that did that with Taylor Swift, Ashley? Yes. And, and then she, someone well, people, was like, Taylor. And she's like, it's Ashley. People were like <laughs> on her side for a little bit, but then we found out like what, I think she had had like all this surgery and she actually did like not naturally look like Taylor Swift. I just know that if someone like did that to look like me, like not that I, that would ever happen, but I would be weirded out. Yeah. Someone did that to me. No way. Um, 
Were you oh, no. her? TikTok was Tana Mojo too. And she got to like a million followers like that. And then Alex Warren surprised me with her. And then she was, um, she was like Australian and she, but she, she moved right. past it though. Like, and she like did move past it. Very um, different. And she's, story. yeah, now she goes by her real name. I think it's Jasmine, but I want to ask you like, what if we had her on, but we pretended like she was Ariana Grande? That's what I was about to say. That would be the most amazing thing of all time. I think you should do it. Well, I have to unblock her. Well, the, I, I, <laughs> like, imagine we just had her on and like we completely the entire time, like she was just Ariana. And then that was our new bit. Like we had like Oprah <laughs> next week. I don't think so. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's for me. Just pitching. Okay. I'll think I'll, I'll sleep on it. Sit on it. Yeah. Sleep on it. Sit on yeah. it. Sit on it. Sit on it. <laughs> I want to sit on something. Um, men who would shove women and children out of the way on the Titanic. Did you guys see that TikTok? No, is that a thing? A girl was talking on TikTok about how she knows so many men who would shove women and children out of the way. I on would the not Titanic. put it past any man. And I thought it'd be fun if we just all named a man who would shove women and children out of the way. Austin on the McBroom, mm -hmm. Matt Rife. So true. Okay, <laughs> hold on, hold on, Charlie Sheen. <laughs> for sure <laughs> oh my god i want to keep going okay There's keep going i'm having more. fun um mm. jonah hill you think i don't no. think he would i think he would i don't i think he's i'm not a sympathizer but i don't think he would wait sympath am i missing some lore yeah remember <laughs> oh. very misogynistic oh then maybe he would i don't know, I don't know. um i think who but he could misogynize me Okay. I just want to put that out there. There's certain men where it's like, I saw this TikTok the other day. What the fuck is wrong Stand with me? My screen time has been 15 hours yeah, a day. Yeah, same. Mine's so um, bad. I saw this TikTok the other day where it was like reasons I can't be in the war. And it was like, because if a guy pulled a gun on me, I would think it was hot. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn, like me. Like there, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes I don't mind. Like I'll get, I'll go to the kitchen. <laughs> Sorry. Sophia Richie era. <laughs> it's never, she coming. Ne never coming huh no 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 i always say i want to be in my sophia oh, richie era oh. and it's just like then i say something like that and it's like it's never gonna happen you oh. know ever yes she works i love you yeah. you're real for that any more men who would shove women and children out of the way Stephen hawking <laughs> just rolling into them we gotta He's running them over we're getting at that Sorry. moment where oh we God. just start saying shit well jake shane we love you. You successfully did, did it. it. You did it. I, did I know. It, you guys. I know you were horrified to come on, and I hope not because we're like horrifying to you, but I know it's. It no, is you scary. guys are amazing. I was just, I, you know, you guys, you've been at it forever. I was just intimidated. No, you are the best, and you're killing it with therapists right now. Thank you. I'm. Trying. I am so excited to. Like, I know your guests have been crazy. It is so. Yeah, you you just had Renee rap. Yeah, that had, was. I, she came in, and I was like, "Do you know how much this means to me that you're doing this right now?" And she's like, "Oh, shut up. It's fine." I'm like, "No, no, no. Like, do you?" understand and it's crazy when so you think about like Renee yeah. and Tate have both been on and I, like in my head it's gonna be like Miley and Ariana in like oh my god in, a, in my and we're dream. gonna have the doppelgangers you know I mean? over like, here on the couch <laughs> in a couple years like <laughs> I'm just so excited to see where you go with that you've needed a podcast from a jump if you ever need if like Renee Bales or something like we're here well we're figuring out we're yeah. figuring out we would dates. love to come yes. on and be therapized yes. by you and, and I, I can't think wait the for need to therapist oh <laughs> no wait I'm dead serious about that so I must we. come to Fayetteville you have to come to Fayetteville and we're gonna and go out and blackout in Fayetteville. Oh my exactly. God. Fuck, right. I'm relapsing. Seriously. <laughs> Stay tuned. I love you so much. I love you. And love thank you. you for coming on. Yay. And you're the best. Wow. 